I don't really have much to tell you. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another reading vlog. Oh, what? what? Wait! Huh? Girl. <coughs> now, we've got a lot of things to cover quickly. Oh my god, it's so echoey in here. I <laughs> I hope, that, I hope that picks up okay on the mic. First of all, you're probably thinking, girl, you're in a different place. Yes. <laughs> I've moved back to uni for my second year of university into a new flat. So this is now going to be kind of like the place that you see in my videos. Actually, next week's video will be filmed at my home and then all the other videos will be here. Bye. 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 He isn't like being stroked. So as you can probably tell by the title, today I'm doing my first ever buddy read. I'm doing it with Bianca. I'll put all her links below to her Twitter, her YouTube, everything. Go follow her. You know, I thought I'd vlog the experience. And I'm also very excited to read the book that I'm reading because a lot of people on booktube talk about it and love it, but we'll get to that in a second. Now, a slight issue that we're going to have is I'm currently reading four books. And to some people that's like average, you know, they read a lot of books at one time. I don't. Two is like my maximum. So how did we, how did we end up here? How are we gonna do this? So first is a book I'm having to read, which is Ways of Seeing. I'm having to read this for uni. We don't care, you know, like whatever. Then I'm reading The Secret Barrister. Now this put me into a reading slump this month. I've only read one book so far this month and it is, it's September 23rd. <laughs> I'm this far in, so I've got that left, and I was hoping to finish it yesterday so that I'd be done with it, ready for this. That didn't happen. It's a very interesting read, but I'm just a bit bored. I'm just struggling to want to read it, so we're going to get through it. I mean, I think it's a very important read, but I'm bored. I'm bored. I'm also reading I Was Born For This by Alice Oseman on audiobook, which I'm really enjoying, actually. I need to pop out in about 50 minutes and everywhere I walk I'm going to be listening to that and I'm really excited to listen to it. I'm actually enjoying it so much more than I thought I would be because sometimes I struggle with contemporaries. Like I struggle if I'm not reading I guess a more serious book or like a fantasy like contemporaries just take me a little bit longer to get into but I'm actually really enjoying it and the premise as someone who stand so many boy bands on my past like I feel a bit seen, I feel a bit exposed, I feel a bit attacked. Anyway the moment of truth. I am going to be reading The Diviners in this video. You can probably see that by the title because I've probably put it in the title, but oh well. Yeah, I'm going to be reading The Diviners by Libba Bray. Uh, so many people on booktube love this. I bought it because of Kat, one of my favourite booktubers. Um, I think Liv, I can't remember her um, app, but Liv, like, I'll put the picture up and you know what I'm talking about. She talks about it all the time. I've had this on my TBR for the longest. It was the book I was most excited to buy in America and then subsequently have not read it yet because it scares me a little bit, right? It's like fairly big, the font is fairly small. I don't know, I'm just a little bit scared. <laughs> I'm just a little bit scared to read it, but we're gonna do that today. I've got 50 minutes so I need to leave, so I'm gonna read for half an hour now, and then um, I'm gonna show you around the flat really quickly. It's not like the tidiest, it's not completely like all done. We've got laundry here, it, you know. If we're students living in a flat, it's not going to be the tidiest, but I'll show you around it really quickly after that. I'll catch up with you a little bit later after that. Um, I know my eyes have probably looked like tiny this whole intro. I'm probably like, because <laughs> it's so sunny. We have a big window um, in front of us. Um, this whole video, I'm going to be like, <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, let's read this for a little bit and then I'll check back in with you to tell you what I think. So I just read actually for about um, 20 minutes and I got to page 19. I'm actually really enjoying it so far. I mean, obviously I haven't read much. Um, I've only really been introduced. We had like an opening scene with characters that I don't know if we're gonna meet again. And then, sorry, I'm like super overexposed. Give me a sec. Um, yeah, we had an opening sequence with some characters that I don't know if we're gonna meet again or not. 
And then we met, I think, kind of like the main, one of the main characters, um, Evie. And she's super interesting. She can like tell a person's secrets by holding an object that belongs to them, um, which I think is obviously going to develop as the story goes along and be like a really interesting plot point. Something that I meant to say before I started reading that I'd really recommend doing is um, I always search on Spotify for like a playlist named after the book that someone's made. One that's mostly instrumentals and then I listen to that as I read and I think it makes for like a really good reading experience because it's all songs that fit that book. I mean with this book obviously it's set in New York in the 1920s so like you could just look up a 1920s playlist but I really like finding ones that people have made for that book so when I read the Baron and Nightingale series there was a great playlist for that that I listened to and the one I'm listening to with this is really good as well so I think it just like enhances your reading experience and really draws you into the book I would definitely recommend it as well if you're struggling to get into a book because I think that can help in that situation as well so let me just show you around the flat quickly because <laughs> I know you can't wait for that before I go out. So when you come into the flat, this is like our hallway. Ignore the mattresses. <laughs> We've bought new mattresses because the one on our bed is rubbish. And we're gonna, we bought two single ones so that it's the right length and we're gonna try and tie them together. We'll see how that goes. This is like our shoe and folder rack. Then we have the bathroom, which I know you're so excited to see. Some storage, a shower lovely and then the main room is this room it's the one that has our bed in it and like the living space this is our bed here can you tell we like yellow and there are just some fairy lights with some pictures on of our like family and friends then over here we have our <laughs> pokemon slash norwich city shrine <laughs> they're my um like dogs from my childhood so i like to bring them with me and then these are all our Pokemon. <laughs> this is my book cart that I bought to keep here. The books on this top shelf are all the books that I want to read, you know, while I'm here. And then the books like on the lower shelves are ones we need for uni. And then we just have like the sofa. I was filming there. We've got some laundry out and then Ooh! hang on. <laughs> then we just have like our two desks. So it's a pretty like simple flat but I think it's really nice especially for like student accommodation oh hang on the kitchen we brought some like more storage from Ikea because this doesn't have much storage because as you can see it's like not massive but it does the job because there's only two of us so now I'm gonna pop out I need to go to the doctors and then I'm going to my gym to activate my membership I need to get a few bits from the shops and then I'll be back to I need to do some work for my channel I need to check my next video upload that is all correct and then start that uploading and I want to do across like today and tomorrow make my channel header intro and end screen so you'll probably see me doing that over the next couple of days but yeah I'll check in with you a little bit later. Hello again. I haven't read any more, so I don't really know why I'm checking in. Essentially, I've been doing a lot of work for my channel. I've been finalizing the video that is going live Tomorrow, it's my physical books, every book I own, book haul, whatever video, which I'll link up above if you haven't seen it. Um, I've just been making the thumbnail for that. I really enjoy making thumbnails. I like making them look, like I like really retro colour palettes and I don't know, I just like making them look kind of pretty. So um, I enjoy doing it, but I'm very tired today. I didn't sleep well. I didn't get my eight hours. I woke up at half six intending to wake up at 7 45 if i had woken up at 7 45 i would be i'd be fine but i didn't now, i am gonna read this a lot tonight i want to take my makeup off because you know when your makeup has been sitting on your face for so long and i had a, like a 20 minute power nap so it just feels crusty like it just feels like but am i ready for you to see me without makeup not sure <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be wearing makeup tomorrow. So you're probably gonna have to look at my makeup this face tomorrow, but like right now I just wanna preserve it, preserve the eyeshadow. Isn't it so bad? I should just be comfortable, I should just not care. Like most people don't wear makeup, but for me I'm just a little bit extra 
and I still care a bit too much about what people think of me. <laughs> All I want to do is sit and read this, but I'm making myself get some work done. Another thing I need to know, everyone has to be aware of, is that um, with the vlogs now, because I'm in Leeds, I'm in the city centre, I feel a bit uncomfortable taking my camera out. I've got a big bulky camera, it's a Canon 600D. And so it ain't, it ain't small, let me, let me show you, you, <laughs> in the mirror. Like, you're quite big, do you know what I mean? Like, you're quite... I can't, I can't just whip it out. <laughs> I can't just, like, take it out in the middle of the high street. I'll get mugged. I'm, like, begging for a mugging. I don't know. I feel like the vlogs might get a bit boring, even though they're really what I want to do. I can't really take the camera out. I might just film some clips on my phone while I'm out, but next couple of days I'm not planning on going out much <laughs> By the way, also, I keep saying our flat. I mention Tom sometimes. He exists. I'm not pretending he exists. <laughs> But I don't know if I'll ever get him to be on camera. We'll, we shall see. Yeah, I promise that I'm not <laughs> pretending I'm living with someone and dating someone. Um, but yeah, I'm going a bit delirious because all I want to do is sit and read this good ass book. Well, I can't really say that. I'm only like 20 pages in. But all I want to do is read it right now. We're going to be productive and we're going to get some stuff done. And then we allow ourselves to read tonight. Probably in a little bit. I don't know when. <laughs> quietly because Tom's asleep. <laughs> so it is Tuesday morning as you can probably tell by the lighting it's very grey <laughs> and dreary outside. I as you saw I read this last night and I've read it about another half hour this morning so I've just reached page 100 so I've read that much. Essentially what I've read is like what's on the blurb. I've just finished what's on the blurb so I'm still like very much at the beginning. I still feel like this could be like a three, four or five star. Like I don't know which one yet. I'm really enjoying like the spooky, spooky. <laughs> this is the spooky, spooky, kooky and creepy special edition. Parts of it, like the bad guy parts. Um, they're probably my favorite parts so far. But I still feel like we're just kind of getting to know the characters, who they are, what they can do, like no questions have been answered. I feel like it's a very different reading experience than my last vlog. You know, Turn of the Key was only like what, 300 and something pages? So when you're 100 pages in, you're like starting to be in the thick of it. You're really in the story. Whereas this is 100 pages in to a four series, four page, four, four book series. And so really you're only like a hundred pages into like a, I don't even know, 1,300 page story. Do you know what I mean? So it's a very different reading experience. When you're hundred pages in, like you, it's a much slower build if you get me. So yeah, I don't know really what I think of it yet. I still feel like it could go any way and I could be like really pleased with the direction it goes in or really not pleased. <laughs> I've also almost finished this, um, no one cares, I don't even care about this, but I just want it done so that we're only on three books, hallelujah, because four books at once is not me, that's not me. I'm making this shake a lot. I'll read some more of this later, but I really like the characters, I really like the atmosphere, the setting, but I just don't know what way it's going to go yet, so we shall see. <laughs> Good morning, hello. Apologies for yesterday being kind of rubbish. The cooking went wrong, <laughs> really wrong. And then in the evening, I didn't read until like late evening. And then when I did, 
we the fire alarm went off we had to go stand outside for ages so <laughs> yeah there's drilling going on outside my window right now apologies if you can hear it i've come to the back of my room so that hopefully you don't but you might i'm having a bit of a crisis in that i'm stressing out because when i watch a reading vlog right I, I i don't care if you just sit in your bed the whole time like i just want to hear what you think about the books i want to be entertained i just love hearing you talk about the books but in my head in my crazy head i'm like well i need to be going out somewhere i need to be doing all these things i need other sequences and i need so i'm essentially freaking out that i'm not doing anything because my life is boring like if you're going to be on be following me on this channel we need to just accept my life is kind of boring it's kind of boring, I don't really do much. But especially this week, because I'm focusing on just planning and getting stuff done for this channel, so that when school starts next week, I'm like, in a better position. In terms of the book, <laughs> let's talk about, you know, what we're here for. Woo! I'm now on page 167. So I read more last night, and then I read a bit this morning. I am really enjoying it. I really like the characters, I really like the atmosphere, like I said. I just don't know if the way it progresses is gonna, I'm gonna be happy with it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like it could just be really predictable and I could be really disappointed with the way in which it goes. I am really enjoying it, but something about it, I'm just hesitant, I guess, cause it's a longer book. I'm hesitant that it's not gonna go the way in which I want it to go. Am I really enjoying it? Yes. Is it like a four star about now if it carries on? Yes. Does it have to improve for me to give it a five star? Yes. Do I understand yet why it's like everyone's favorite book? No. I'm really enjoying it, but I'm not about to say this is the, my, my favorite book in the world. Today, um, I'm pretty much staying at home until I go to the gym this evening. I am doing some, please be quiet. <laughs> I'm doing some work on a piece that I have been writing for HuffPost Personal. If it's up already, I'll put a link down below. Um, it's essentially about growing up like as a bigger kid. I was very big, uh, both in height and weight when I grew up, um, when I was younger. I was like five, six by the time I was 10. Um, I was a size 18, UK 18, so that's a US 14 um, when I was 12 years old. And yeah i mean i've lost a lot of weight now i'm like an average height i'm still five six it's just kind of like what it was like growing up um that way for me um i don't know if it'll be up yet but if it is i'll link it down below if not um i'll be posting it on my twitter when it comes out so keep an eye out for that so i'm doing some edits on that and then i'm editing my booktube newbie tag which we're already up before this so i'll link that up above please say it's that side and I'll probably pick you back up tonight once I've been able to read some more and tell you how I think it's going. I haven't heard from Bianca yet after she read the first 30 pages, so I haven't heard from her about it in a while. I'm intrigued to see what she thinks about it. So we'll see. But um, yeah, I'll catch up with you a bit later. It's been a little while since I last caught up with you. I've gotten to page 262, so I'm over halfway now with the diviners. I'm definitely enjoying it a lot more now. We're getting that like Scooby-Doo gang vibes. For me, it's still true though, definitely, that I'm enjoying the sections either set in the past or with the like baddie a bit more than like the other bits. But um, I really hope that the uncle, Will, is gonna be in the rest of the series because he's like my favorite character. Something about him. I'm trying to think of like an actor that like I'm thinking of, kind of like Math Matthew Gray Goobler, but not him. I can't think of who I'm thinking of, but anyway, I really like him. But the atmosphere is definitely getting a lot better for me. I'm feeling like I'm embedded in the world a lot more. It's kind of feeling like Harry Potter in the way that you have a really good 
setting. I, it's probably making me think of that because it's kind of making me think of Fantastic Beasts, which Bianca said as well when she's been reading it. I read most in the evening because um, it's like my time to relax. Whatever. I think most people do anyway, but it means I can't get very good shots because like it's dark. <laughs> I haven't got the nice natural lighting. I feel like it's a minimum four now, but whether it makes that five, I don't know. I feel like it's going to be a four. and everyone else I am on page 320 I'm very much enjoying it we are just about to kick off um, I don't really have much to tell you <laughs> so how are we all doing? I don't have the, the brain Oh my god, I can't believe I'm filming myself doing this and putting it online. Um, I don't have the brain power right now to even talk about, you know, what I'm experiencing. But I'm enjoying myself. Let's just say that. I'm going to finish the book tomorrow, so I will update you on my last bit of reading tomorrow. And then I'll hopefully give you, like, a full, we're finished what I think. If anyone wants to know, I'm using um, Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Botanical Cleansing Oil. So that's me, boys. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll, here's the thing. Why do you want to keep doing? He's getting my makeup right up. Thank you, sorry. <laughs> Moving back to the left a bit. <laughs> Essentially what I didn't want to do was keep doing what I've been doing, which is checking in the morning, going, I'll see you later, and then not. <laughs> so, what I decided to do was check in with you like this and not tell you anything because when it gets this late at night, I'm just not even that late. It's 10.48, so when it gets this late, I'm not particularly coherent. I'm just checking in and trying to have a bit of us time. <laughs> I'll see you in the morning. Peace out. <laughs> so... I finished it. I ended up giving it four out of five stars. I really, really enjoyed it. There was just like a little bit, it wasn't quite a five star. It was like, the, wasn't like the, my favorite book I've ever read, but it was a strong, strong four out of five stars. And I feel like the series is just gonna get better. So I'm really excited to read Letter of Dreams. I think at the moment though, the earliest I'll be reading that is November. The last 150 pages flew by. It really ramped up in terms of the pace and what was happening at that point. So. I just flew through, especially the last probably 80 pages. I read really, really quickly. I also love, I love Uncle Will. <laughs> I know if you fancy anyone, it's probably supposed to be Sam, Jericho or Memphis, but maybe I'm not imagining him correctly. There's probably some description of him like great. But I'm imagining him like late forties. You know, like I said, Matthew Greg Gibbler, but a bit older, that kind of hair. It took me a little while to get used to all the characters. There is a lot of characters in this that we focus on and try to get to know. A lot of subplots going on to the main plot. And so because of that, it did take me a while to get into all the different characters. But now by the end of the book, I feel like I know them all really well. And so I'm looking forward to following them again in the rest of the series. I also thought one of the most brilliant things that Lippa Bray did was she was really able to focus it to place them in the area that they're in. So there'd often be a scene um, of something happening with our main characters and then it would kind of like zoom out and she'd describe other things were happening that were happening in the city. And it reminded me of like when in a film when they're focusing on the thing and then the camera zooms out or like goes to other parts of the city or something. I thought that was really well done because you never lost sight of where they were, the setting, which is a really strong aspect of this novel. But yeah, on the whole, really strong book. I really enjoyed buddy reading it with Bianca. She is about halfway through, so we probably should have like read it in unison. <laughs> but um, I'm really excited to hear what she thinks at the end of the book and for the rest of it, get her reactions to what's going on. Um, 
yeah and it was just a really good experience so let me know if you have read the diviners i know a lot of people on here have probably read the whole series and like girl you've got a big storm coming because i i feel like i do well the storm's coming like they say yeah i'm a bit scared a bit scared to read the next two because i feel like bad things are gonna happen that is everything from me um yeah let me know if you have read this and i'm sorry for this vlog being such a mess i know i was all over the place <laughs> i'll try and be less of a mess next time <laughs> and if you haven't read the diviners please do and let me know what you think down below after you've read it and yeah that's pretty much all from me i hope you enjoyed the vlog even though it was a mess and i'll see you soon bye <laughs>